just here with George. Yeah. This is one of our guest speakers. Thank you. I look you. forward to it. Yeah. What do you think people are going to learn from this event? Uh, I think uh, the importance of nutrition, mm. uh, importance of exercise, importance of uh, taking stress out of your diet. Uh, there's many factors uh, that contribute to heart disease. Uh, what is it about my own serum cholesterol? When 100 was considered okay, mine was 170, and then it came down to 90 with, within six weeks with a plant-based diet. Well, it turns out that I had never Googled the words cholesterol content of chicken or cholesterol content of fish. I thought I was eating a healthy diet because it was low fat, but it actually was very high in cholesterol. There's more cholesterol in a pork chop. I'm sorry, in less in a pork chop than there is in a salmon uh, patty. So it's just, it's just a, a lack of, of knowledge and understanding. So as it turns out, um, if you look at a variety of studies that correlates in consumption of cholesterol with serum cholesterol, you get studies that are all over the place, but there's one thing that you could take away, and that is the higher your cholesterol intake, the less eating more cholesterol does. You're going to excrete it, and you're not going to absorb it. It turns out that the liver metabolism, as complex as it is, and statins, and you know, changing all of that, you're going to make a certain amount of cholesterol, and it's going to all be dumped into your GI tract, where it then, uh, with the bile acids, gets reabsorbed. Then you're going to eat a certain amount of cholesterol, hopefully the whole room is zero. Um, and all of it is, has to be absorbed. So it turns out that um, if you're not eating a lot of it, you can actually do more recycling of your own cholesterol. And if you are eating a lot of it, you get to the point where you just can't absorb it anymore. And so all those studies that said that eating cholesterol does not change your cholesterol. We're talking about people who are eating meat three times a day and the like. And so, no, you won't see much. And uh, occasionally you'll see a, um, an article that talks about the cholesterol hyper-responders. Hyper-responders are just people who aren't eating very much. And yeah, then you give them an egg and everything shoots up. And so it's actually fairly simple, as, as confusing as the literature is. And I know I know it's a really long answer, but there's not going to get a lot of information in there. Thanks. That's just one conclusion, yeah, whole food plant-based nutrition is the best uh, nutrition, the best lifestyle we have at present, so wonderful, very impressed. Yeah, that was probably the most interesting to me was the heme protein for sure. Not really. Because it's just this massive push on people with anemia and yeah, it's pretty... The most interesting research for me is the, uh, the heme iron uh, study that was talking about its correlation with cardiovascular disease. There's a lot of push of people um, when they hear about a plant-based diet thinking of anemia and where are you going to get your iron from, but it's quite interesting to hear that perhaps it isn't the issue that we're thinking of. So I was really grateful to be part of it this evening and hear Kim Williams and yeah, I look forward to more people coming to Australia.